Okay, officially good morning. And this is our EX class. It's all carries now. He's going to take over. Have a wonderful class and see you real soon. Thanks. Okay, so uh, welcome to the EX workshop. Yay. <laughs> so I'll start off with the song. <clears throat> Let's see. You know what? It's almost the 4th of July, so let's just do a, a nice big thundering march. my workshop thanks for coming just kidding. just kidding more people all right so uh, I know some people have some questions what was your question you wanted to go over do what Okay. Okay. All right. So some of you had marquees and grands before the ARIA, or you had um, A series before it. Okay. So over on the the way this works now. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you the way, oh, wrong button. So over here now, oh, come on. Yeah. See, now we have um, one button that has all the harmonies in it. So, so it's like someone said, well, what if I wanted to add duet at some point on my song? So I would, what I would do is have my sound on and then I'm going to turn this off, turn it back on, and then look in the screen. Oh, look, and put the box, make sure the box is around duet already. And then so when I get to that spot, when I, all I got to do is hit the harmony button, and uh, du du duet will be already on. Let's have it already set up ahead of time. That's what you got to do with all your harmonies is you just push the button and see the screen in there gives you all your choices. Let's say you wanted uh, four part later in the song and you, you were going to stay on the same preset though, you know. So you put a box around the four part and then shut off the harmony. So when you get to that spot, you just push the harmony button on and then it'll be on. Yeah. We use presets so much that it does it for us most of the time, but if it was that like type of song, you wanted to add to do it later. You have to have it already in there. Because if you hit the button and it's on something else, you'd have to hurry up and hit the box around it. So have it done ahead of time. That was easy. Now anybody can answer, ask any questions. You can leave it on mute if you, just, if you guys don't have like dogs barking and stuff. <laughs> he wants to answer a question. How do you make the dog bark? Ruff, ruff. Any questions to start off with? No? Okay, you got one. Here's one. Here's a question. On the sounds. Okay, repeat in effect. Okay. <laughs> All right, here's the question. 
in in the uh, right hand side of the instrument we've got orc one orc two solo one and solo two on the bottom of each one like a lot of them it says repeat in effect and then repeat effect repeat effect and then repeat effect okay so I'm gonna be doing that Unless someone wants to come in all right, so here we go. So let's say I have on a sound that's okay. in. And I said to text Roma because we're swimming. Let's say I have a sound in Orc 1 and I hit repeat. Didn't do anything. There it is. So it adds repeat to it. It's a shortcut. What it is is like in your feature button, if you scroll, there's a repeat on and off in there. Then there's the effects on page four. It's like an on or off button. You can put things together. Like So right now I have a uh, flugelhorn is in orc one. This is great. That's good, Carrie. Yeah. It's people coming in. <laughs> Constantly. Okay, so I got orc one and there's a flugelhorn. Let's say there was a um let's go to let's just say there's a guitar. And I hit repeat. Okay, that's not a sound that repeats. So not every sound repeats. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so that's what that means. So I guess any sound that's on, I can put repeat. Uh, but you know what? If you, oh my gosh. Right. So let's just say I went to around the world preset and I happen to go to Bella Likas. Well, two boxes have repeat. So they already did it for me. That's where they could put it on. That's what that's for. And the effect is in your page four. Oops. Just to show you like in your page four. There's the top one that says effects. And like there's there's different things like phaser and auto pan and, and all this stuff you can do. Well, I guess this is like a button. The effect button is a button that just puts it on. You can have it like ready and only put it on when you want. Yeah, in a way like you but I think if you're going to have it on, you'd want it on right away. But that's what the effect is. It's like a on or off button for your effect. Let's make sure. So let's just say I have a sound only in Orc 1. Well, not that one. Let's just say it's a bagpipe. And then um, the effect that's going to be affecting it is, let's say it's uh, delay. Okay, now I'm going to turn that button off and see if it still delays. Nope. Yay, I figured it out. So it's just a on or off button for effects. That was, that was tricky. I was scared of that one. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I figured it out. So those are those two buttons. Um, like, oh, I got an idea. Let's say, let's see if this, well, let's just say I'm on a banjo. I don't know. You can add repeat to stuff. Next question. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can do that. That's a little far, but yeah, you can do that. Yeah, 
Someone said that uh, you can make the speed of the repeat faster or slower. You can do that. Yep. It's a little deep, though. Can they do that for you. You want to go further? Okay. So I press the feature and scroll to repeat, and there's a rate. And you can make that rate more. Okay. So, uh, rate 26 going up. Yay, that's really far. That's deep. That's just another thing the presets do for you. If you ever have a repeat, not only do they put it on, they also adjusted the rate so that it sounds great, like your marimba, your balalaika, and your banjo. That was good. What's the next question? Quick picks? Okay. All right. All right. Well, the way the quick picks work, it's like instead of getting out the manual with the number, you have a few pages of quick picks. So I press the quick picks, and then I'll show you there's a few different pages. So there's the page one. Got a Maria. And then I hit next. There's another page. And then there's the third page. So there's three pages of quick picks. My favorite is the page two and three. Especially page three because there's the lyrical alto sax and the mellow clarinet. So let's just say I wanted mellow clarinet. I push it, it turns, the top of the button turns red, and I have to assign it to one of my sections. Orc 1, I'm going to put it in Orc 1, or I'll put it in Orc 2. Now I've got it. So what I do with the quick fix is I, I push it, it turns red, and then I assign it to a button. Overblow flute. Mm. Here's the thing about quick picks or putting sounds places. Before you do any of that stuff, you got to know what's all on at the time. So let's go over this. I mean, I could just say, oh, you just, they, this is how they demonstrate. You just push it, and it's on your finger, and you put it in one of the buttons. Yay! Anybody try that? And then you push and you're like, what? I don't hear it. There's all this other stuff on. Right? I want to show you how to accurately get it. All right. First, you got to know your your buttons. You're, you're over here. A lot of people, they say, I want to, what do you talk about this side? And what do we usually say? Oh, don't worry about that side. Use your presets. Well, today's the day. <laughs> I'm going to show you about that side. So, here's... Can anybody Can anybody name the five to six sections? We did this last week. Five to six sections that could be I missed it your aunt question. Five to six sections that could affect the right hand, upper or lower. Name the five parts. Solo one, solo two. Orc 1, Orc 2, so that's the four boxes here. What's the next one? Tabs. He said it. Upper, tabs. the tabs. The upper sounds tab, the black one, but also the organ sounds. You can't forget about the flutes. They could interfere with a good, you know, they'll have a flute going. You won't even know it. Your flutes, your upper sounds tab, and then two more places. Theater in the screen, and ensemble. Got to check those too because sometimes there's sounds. That's why I wait until someone knows it better before I say, you know, the quick picks. But you'd have to know what's all on, but I've got a shortcut. This is how I do quick picks. I work off of, 
a category preset. Something that I know is going to give me one to two sounds, and then I'll add to it. I'll override it. Check this out. Because I don't want you to have to push all these buttons just to get one sound. And then you put it on, you hardly can hear it. So here it is. I'm going to go to the category select button. And let's just say I went to country. Country 1. Country 1. And I know, and I'm going to look at what it did, and I see... What it did was it put a sound in Orchestra 1, and it put a sound also in Upper Sound. So if everybody put their Country Preset 1 on, and you look on the right, you'll see that there's Orc 1 Uppers on, and then also the Upper Sounds tab. So if I was to go and go to Quick Picks, what I would do is hit the Quick Pick and put it in the Upper s up Orc 1, and I would put it in my upper sounds. I'd double it up just to get a little bit more vo more volume, and I'll get it. Watch this. Yeah, this, because I was getting frustrated. I was like, there's always something in the way. I don't want to have to do all that stuff. So let's just say right now I'd like to have the mellow clarinet. So I push mellow clarinet, and then I push it in the Orc 1 sounds button. Then I push the mellow clarinet again, and then I push it in the upper sounds tab. And it works. And then I got it. Here's another plus. Here is the big one. Let's say it took an hour doing it the other way. You, you turned everything off, and you did this quick picks. Guess what secretly was on the whole time? Your vintage button. Didn't even know it was on. And you pick a rhythm, and boom, it's all gone. You're like, no, oh, gosh darn. <laughs> but you know what? The, the plus about get using a category preset, it took it off. I could put any rhythm on now, and it's going to leave my sound alone. You don't know how many times I went, oh, fudge. <laughs> like on that movie. I'm just kidding. That was bad. Oh, yeah, don't forget about the plane. I love that plane. All right, so if I wanted to do lyrical alto sax, and I put it in Orc 1, and I put lyrical alto sax in upper sounds, and then all of a sudden I got excited, and I said, I want to put that with Smoky Lounge. So then I go get the Smoky Lounge. No, you know, I'm, I'm, I know a dinner and dance. And I say, no, I want to do that with Love Ballad. But I've got bonus round right now. Let's say you knew your organ better than that. What preset, well, one of them, there's several. What preset could I have gotten that lyrical alto sax from? without doing any of this quick pick stuff. Which preset? That's different. That's a Kenny G sax. That's <laughs> this is the lyrical alto sax. Can anybody name one of the presets that could I could have got that same sax from? OK, well, I'm going to name them. Love songs number two, lower keyboard. I could have gotten that same sound. Could have gotten that same sound. Love songs preset two. Could have got it. Love songs number two. I could have got the lyrical sax. Some people like to do quick picks. I don't know. Um, or, and no one's ans no one's a no one knows this, but y they probably know once I say it. One of the dimension sounds. The dimension number nine. <laughs> Would it, and which will be louder. And then I could have got that alto mellow. 
in dimensions number one. I could have got over blow flute in dimensions number three. Maybe that's why they made that. <laughs> Save some phone calls. I can't figure this out. Okay. Yeah, quick picks again. Yeah, my picks. Maybe that's what we should talk about. Let's do some sounds that maybe aren't in presets. You ever go through your manual and look through every sound? And then mark which ones you haven't seen yet. R nice rainy day if your your plans are spoiled. Write it on your refrigerator. Say, remember to look through manual and check sounds. Put it right there. So when it's rainy, you're like, man, my whole day's ruined. <gasps> hey, wait, I know what I'm going to do. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press quick picks. Watch this. This is on. This was on several organs. And s in the center there, it says my picks. So I'm going to touch that. Now I hear the saxophone. Someone's excited. So what I'm going to do? It's similar. It's just like my favorite rhythms. Someone, you have some sounds. You just touch one, and it scrolls through the whole sound list. So I'll scroll until I get to the one I want. I don't know, like uh, ooh, cello Stradivarius. So what you would do is load this up with uh, sounds that you'd like to have. Oh, there's a bassoon. You know that one. That one I'd like to have a lot. Flute smooth. That's good. Harp. How about harmonica pocket? Um. Ooh, pan flute, breathy. Uh, piano um, phase. Let's do that. And strings, crescendo, and extra goblin. <laughs> no, maybe not. Halo. Okay, got my pick set. All right, now I'm going to put, now I've got them. Now I could do the same thing and put them anywhere I want. So let's do that. All right, so I want the bassoon, and I'm going to put it in orc one and orc and upper sounds. And let me just yeah. bassoon, bassoon. This better work. There's something. Oh, I have to. I don't want solos on. So what I'm going to do is go to uh, the country preset again work off of that country one go to quick my picks and put the bassoon in the up orc one and upper sounds and nice and loud flute smooth isn't that great so you got to fill up that list and then you'll have a set of your own quick picks Yes. My picks. Let me see. Oh, oh, in that, okay. Someone had a question in the, uh, in your uh, page, feature page 10. Oh, you just want to know what MIDI means? Okay. Some people have these other devices like keyboards and drum machines and other devices. You can actually hook up these cords, and it's not audio. It's, a, it's, it's computer language, and it'll talk to each other. You can take sounds from each other. I saw that once. Some person knew how to do that. So don't touch that one. <laughs> it's right above reset. But, oh wait, what, sorry. Reverb, uh, he's got so much already. Um, but if I hit the reverb one, you can make your organ go through caverns and rooms and clubs and churches and stuff. 
You know, we used to have to do that a lot more when the organ didn't do as much. You had to do more. It's so good already. We don't have to touch any more. But that's what you have actually different, different ways you can. Here's cavern. Similar to the delay. Cathedral. Keeps going. Well, let's say I put on the pipe organ and put cathedral. It keeps going. Here's uh, auditorium. Hey, how about stadium? I leave it on sweet sound. Oh, two more people. It's late. Any questions? Got to have some more. Oh, sorry. What do ensemble and theater do? Okay. I got one. Yay. Okay. In the screen, you have uh, two, two boxes right here. One says ensemble. When you press it, you'll get the string sounds and vocals. So they took them off of the tabs. They used to be on the top and end. They put them in there. So you have vocals and strings. So like, let's say I'm playing a sound like uh, piano and strings. That's where one of the strings is coming from. You can add more to it. If you want to see it, so the strings and vocals are in ensemble, and then theater is they took the purple tabs from here, and they're now in the screen. Oh. Isn't that great? So those are theater organ sounds. So if I was on, uh, if I hit like C. See, they went on. Some of them went on. So they have to do with uh, pipe organ stuff, theater pipe organ. But sometimes you'd be surprised. They'll use them, and you're like, what is that other sound I'm hearing? Could be one of those purple tabs. What was your question? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yes. So theater is your purple tabs that used to be on the sides. They're in the screen. Ensemble is the string tabs. They're inside there. Vocals tabs, two of those. Did that answer your question? Can it demonstrate? Oh, demonstrate it? Okay. Well, I don't really add those much. So if um, sometimes I'm playing on the march, this is a r one of the times. So I'm on thundering, and I'm playing, um, I'm on number four. And all of a sudden, I want more strings. I'll leave my ensemble page up and add some more. I'll add that string four for that extra big sound. Here's without. With. Just that extra dink. I used to go like this over here. Now I just hit it in the screen. I'll go like this now. I'll be like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and my arm will go over there. I'll be like, oh, it's right here. Ensemble on the screen, and I just add more strings. That's what those are for, building those tabs, putting more on top of sounds. I thought I heard something. No? Yeah. 
Hey. <laughs> okay, so theater. Um, the thing is, is the theater reeds and diapasons. They're gonna go on when you use your theater organ sounds. You don't really use those so much, but so like if I'm on theater, like theater two, and I'm going through presets. If I want to touch them myself. the drums with it. sounds no dimi no no theater you got theater you want more theater you've got in here now we've got we got theater we got theater two we got theater three we got theater five then we've got the pretty organ we got new pipes that'll use some of those yep the dimensions are more instruments, not pipe organ sounds. New pipes, though. You got the new pipes. Okay. Huh? Euphonium? Okay. <laughs> a euphonium is like a horn. It's some kind of horn. I think, it's, I think it's bent like a French horn. I think so. I like it. It was a... So that's this section over here. That's why we say use the preset. A lot of times someone will just get it and they'll say, what, what about this section over here? We already know what's going to happen. The last thing we want is you going home and thinking you've got to always touch these buttons. If you use your presets, it'll be done for you. But after you've, it takes about five times of working with it until it starts coming clear. But it's the easiest yet. The previous organs, there was blinking ones. You know, you had the orc one, you had a, the genius one and genius two. You couldn't touch it because when you touch it, you lost one of the sounds. This is an easier way where they separate. If you just want to see what's in each section, you can just press the black button of each one, the sound button, and the screen will say what sounds in each one. And you're not messing anything up. You can just do that. That's one thing you can do. But then what they said is they what what if I wanted to see every sound that was in any any one of those buttons the lower the golden harp even the sound effects how do I do that I yeah. see what hit, hit the one in the screen the sounds in the screen and then I'll see every section even the sound effects Look at that. So the both golden harps. Oh, I'm going to talk about that in a second. Flugelhorns, Orc 1, Bells and Orc 2, Tommy and or Solo 1, Piccolo. So then I can come over here and see what's all on. And like it looks like, looks like they're all being used. And then I got lower sounds is the lower tab. Upper, gene, upper sounds tab is ensemble, big band. And then look, even in the theater, G, uh, sounds tabs to show that. They show it's in the bass. Auto bass even. That's new. And then uh, the uh, all the... Uh, there's my plane. Oh, someone just showed up. Okay, isn't that great? Just in case you want to just see everything, if you're into putting sounds different places, you'll be able to see what's going on yes. 
Yeah, if I change the sound, I'll see it in my screen. So let's leave that screen up. And let's say I did my uh, quick picks. And I'm going to hit bassoon, and I'm going to hit the sounds button, and then it should change from flugelhorn in here to bassoon. Yay, it did. And it also put it up here, so I got bassoon. I could see it both places. That's great. But here's the thing. There's all this other stuff on. That's what I was saying. I put it in the button, and I couldn't hear it. <laughs> I know. It's like you got to really know what's going on over here. This orc 1, orc 2, solo 1, solo 2, your tabs, your upper sounds tab, ensemble, and theater. You know? It's a lot. So I got some quizzes. Ready? What if I wanted, there's three to four places. What if I wanted a cello? Anybody can answer this. I want a cello. Where would I go? Well. D, D, not D4, but you're on the right track. D2. D2 lower was one of them. That's one cello. D, anybody, anybody can answer. You can cheat. You can put it on. <laughs> D7. Upper is a cello. What about a Stradivarius cello? Anybody know where that went? Nostalgia. Number four lower. The reason I say that is, is like, if you uh, think of a sound, all of a sudden you want one. You got to know where to go to go get it. If I'm thinking that, if I <laughs> if I want a sound, uh, okay. What if I wanted a banjo? Where would I go? Country somewhere. Was it? Country. Anyway. Country. Which number? Six. Six. All right, here's a basic question. I put on my country, and now I want to see my presets in my screen. What do I do? <laughs> Press my number four. Custom four. Custom number four. And, or one of your custom buttons. I don't know if you have this. An R if you have a, a marquee grand or aria, you got a four. If you have a inspire or rialto, you have a number three, I think. Anyway, there it is. And I can look in it, look in the screen. <sighs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, what's the next question? I'm having a great time. Um, what? Kids, I was too. What? Oh. I thought oh, maybe that was an, a yawn. Okay. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, uh, oh, I, I got the question. What is the button called that used to be called Genie? Some um, basic. Basic. So when the book says only Genie, and you're like, I don't have Genie anymore. It's, it's over here. It's called basic now. Basic is Genie. Yes, good job. Okay. It, it, it's in the, when you do your edit style, it'll be on the top. It'll say basic rather than genie now. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know, if you were trying to get your, if you were to do the edit style, it's in a little bit different spot. It's right, show you where it is now. Oh, okay. 
right there in the center. It's right here now. It's not on the top anymore. It's right here. Okay, well, I saw someone ask questions. Hold on. <laughs> question? Yeah. MCS Plus, you have four choices. Two hands jazz, normal two hands blues, and theater. Theater. So what's with the two hands? What does that, what does that mean? OK, I'll show you. Yay, we got a good question. Okay. All right, so I'll demonstrate. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Okay. Okay. So um, when you play a chord, let's see how am I going to do this. Let's just say you have uh, the, uh, the easy buttons on and you're hitting a C. Okay. And I hit a C, and I get this sound. No, not that sound yet. And I hit this sound. Like on the aria here, it shows G, C, E is being played. And it's in purple. Oh my gosh, come on. It's, a lot of... it's playing this G, C, E. And that's how this is what it, the chord would be playing. Okay. Now, I'm going to start off with the theater. What theater does is it adds not only the G, C, and E, it adds another G on top. A more full chord. Here it is. Hear that? Without theater? With theater? So now it's a four note chord. Big full chord. One finger. Good for. Doesn't it throw, show the lights? Yeah, uh, it's not lit. You can't see it. I don't know. Not through the camera. I'll try. Showing the lights. See them? It's hard to see, but they're, there's playing. Yeah. So it's playing a G, C, E, G. That's not showing. All right, watch this. So if you want like a more full chord, let's say I had on a, a pipe organ and I wanted bigger sound. Just a fuller. That's a, here's without. Just another note comes in. Theater is a four note chord. Normal two hands is the same notes, G, C, E, but another G, C, E, and a G on top of that. It's going to sh... Watch this. A G, not an E, but a, it has a G, C, E, G, C, G. That's a lot of notes. So the, the reason they call it normal is because it's using the notes, the same notes of the chord, nothing crazy, and just putting them on top. So it's a two-handed. Oh, Got your split on. Yeah. The normal two hands. I like to do it with uh, like a preset, like the pipe organ or strings, and I'll make it bigger. So it makes using just the easy button more exciting. Instead of using the easy button, it's dull. That's regular. Here's normal two hands. My chords are alive now. Jazz two hands. I'm coming. It's coming. What? You can use it with a style. Uh, it's fainter. That's faint in the background. I mean, you can put on a style with that. You can kind of hear it. Yeah.
So it's the, the regular tones. So theater is one more note, and then jazz two, uh, jazz, I mean normal two hands is two more notes on top of that. Jazz two hands is the G, C, E, but then it adds an A, a D, and a G on the top end. And that's like a, well, it's jazz, jazzier. It's a six and a nine. So it makes me all of a sudden a better player. Without, my chords are simple. With it on. So let's say I went in and I went to my dimension one. I mean, I mean my dimension nine. Without, with. Jazz two hands. Now, when you had a Liberty and you pushed MCS Plus, that's the one you got. You, anybody who has one MCS Plus, it's that one. Jazz two hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> so it's adding these other notes, a sixth and a ninth. The next one is the blues. That all of a, all of a sudden, that's not a GCE. It's a, it's a jazz chord. It makes ninths and thirteenth chords. Cool. And here it is. I'll put on. Um, so you're gonna put on a B nine. Without, with. Yay, did it. <laughs> jazz club. OK, let's go get jazz club and put jazz club on. With wow, works great. <coughs> okay, I love that stuff. <laughs> We were in a smoky lounge all of a sudden. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Then we have uh, light and open. What does light do? Light and open. Yeah, light and open. If you have a Aria Grand Marquis has one of those, I think. I don't remember. Light and open. What is light uh, in MCS Plus? What does light do? How many? Oh, it takes away the background. No, not no. I mean MCS plus in the MCS plus. I'll just show you. Light plays actually a duet only in your chord. It's just two notes. Like without. There's the full chord. Here's light. Oh, 
I could come up and then open does a uh, open harmony, which is really big. That's cool. It's like if you directed a choir and you're going to change some people around to get a, a unique sound open. Regular or open. Wow, that was a lot. My head is starting to hurt. <laughs> what other questions? Let's see, because I couldn't look at the screen. Let's see what they said. <laughs> right to left. Where did you find Stadium, Oregon? Oh, I just went in the reverb and I put it on Stadium. My picks cannot be saved to USB. Okay. How do I save my picks to USB? So I have on a hard reset and restore them. Repeat the question. Was was it me? Oh. So I don't my picks can't be saved to USB. Okay. I don't know you would like you can put them in a preset, use that sound to put them in a preset and then hold them. Um but yeah, you could reset my picks. And then where did you find Stadium Org? Well, I put on preset, general preset three. So that's just three with nothing else. And I go to uh, reverb, put on Stadium. Actually, I like, I think it's better with Cavern. Hope your favorite baseball team's winning. Uh, yeah, it's uh, page uh, 10, reverb. Uh -huh. Saving presets. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell they're asking. Um, I'm, I'm still getting the question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, here it is. This is pretty far advanced. So let's say you memorized, I've seen someone do this, Jim Vogelman. He, he memorized 10 presets in A, used <laughs> all of them. And then he ran out and he needed more, and he started putting them in B. Can I use my kick switch next preset? Let's see. I may have to use B0, though. Let's just see how this works. I'm just going to put on A1. I'm not going to save anything. I'm just going to go to... My custom number three. Uh oh. Why'd the screen go dead? My screen went dead for a second. <laughs> okay, so I'm on I'm on bank A and it's just <laughs> organ. So I'm gonna put on my next preset foot switches and I'm gonna include banks. Now I'm gonna kick it and see what happens. I'm gonna kick it two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It went to B zero. So you gotta use B zero first. Otherwise you're gonna have a, a hiccup in there. And then it goes to B one. Wow, that was cool. Someone. Yes. Do it in styles? Well, if you're going to use two different styles, what I would rehearse is the tempo. And uh, so there's not too much of a hiccup. So, like, here, I'll do one. I've got one. This is great. I'm going to do, I'll make one right now. I'll do, I've got rhythm. And I'm going to use every feature. 
what I'm going to do is I need, first of all, I need to find stride piano. So I'm going to hit S, stylist, stride piano. Okay, I'm going to use stride piano at C sharp. I'm going to turn down the drums. And I only want basic. And I'm going to use um, come on, um, full AOC, no, group AOC. Let's say I like that. Yeah, where's my sound? Okay, so I got that. I'm going to memorize that into A1. And what I'm going to do is press Memorize A1 with Style, with Transpose, Memorize. So I got it in A1. So now I'm going to go to uh, Vegas Big Band. And I'm going to go down to, what was it, A flat? It was down the G. And I'm going to work off of. I'm going to work off of Vintage Zero. And I'm going to memorize that into A2 with style, with transpose, memorize. So I'm going to be on A1, and then I'm going to hit fill, and then hit A2 and see if it sounds good. So thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next thanks, time. Carrie. You're welcome. Hey, Carrie. Yes. A question about the MCS Plus. Do you use that only with the easy button, or can you use it with any of you the setup? It, you can use it with any rhythm, anytime you want. Any I rhythm. like it with just the easy button because it sounds a lot better, a lot more interesting. OK. So you can All use right. it Thank you. Anytime. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Carrie. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks, Carrie. Welcome. Bye.